Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And uh, yeah, I hope you all had a great holiday, great Christmas. Uh, of course, you know, I'm still going to be in, in Christmas mode here for another few days. Uh, lots of stuff happening all the way through the new year. But I will be back making videos, I think, pretty much every day. Uh, yeah, from now on, we're pretty much back in business. So here we go. We are diving in today. We've had a lot of events happen. Actually, first up, in terms of upcoming events, this is news that's just been out. I'm a little bit late actually getting the news out today. Um, but this is the news. You like my new Christmas jumper, by the way. Well, it's not Christmas themed, but it is Christmassy. And I've got, oh, Christmas t-shirt. Can you see that? I think you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Christmas t-shirt as well. Uh, but here we go. These are upcoming events over the next few days. So on Friday, and I believe on Saturday as well, uh, there's going to be a 2x event to summon epic, legendary, and mythical champions from Primal Shards. So this is the best event they've had ever on Primal Shards. They've done 2x for epics and legendaries, but not mythicals several times. They've done, I think, just the one 2x for mythical only. This is everything, epic, legendary, and mythical. So yeah, I mean, eventually they, they might do 2x overlapping with 10x events. Eventually they might do, you know, a 2x like this overlapping with, with maybe a progressive chance, but I think that's probably a good ways away. I suspect this is pretty much the best chance you're going to get to summon from your Primal Shards for a good long while. I feel like the only reason to wait might be if you don't actually want any of the Mythicals. Um, but yeah, honestly, this seems a pretty great event. So this is likely when I'm going to be pulling my Primals. On Sunday, and I think on Monday as well, I think each event is up for 48 hours. There's going to be a 2x to summon legendaries from Sacred Shards. So again, that's pretty decent. I will say there is an extra legendary event on right now from Sacreds, which if you're close to Mercy and if you've got enough Sacreds, is probably better. If you you might have already done this, right? Because it's been up for over a day or so. I saw loads of people in game yesterday doing it. Um, <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, right? People are going to go nuts, of course. Uh, but yeah, like 2x Sacred Shards will not give you as many legendaries as a double legendary event. But this one, it's it's much more swingy, right? You could be really unlucky. You could pull all your sacreds and get nothing, potentially. So you kind of need enough sacreds to make sure you do get a legendary champion. And then this event is better than a 2x. Uh, but the 2x is sort of a bit safer, a bit more consistent. Though you could still be unlucky as well. It is possible. You could be lucky in both of them. It really depends. For me, I'm not going to actually do this, I think. And I'm probably not going to do the 2x sacred. I'm probably just going to keep saving my sacred shards. Um, I think for now, in case there's like a cool guaranteed or something uh, coming up soon and just making the next fusion comfortable. Uh, I tend to skip a lot of the sacred events. Like I, I always try to hopefully have over 20 sacreds just to be really comfortable and not stress about any of the events. So I'm probably going to be saving there, most likely. But um, on, they're both decent events. What else do we have? Thursday, going to be 3x speed from Dragons. Saturday is going to be 3x retaliation from Ice Golem. And the 1st of January, Monday, is going to be 3x savage from Fire Knight. There might be another hero's path. That might happen. We've got a hero's path on right now. So this today is Wednesday, be up for third, and then it ends. There might be a second hero's path, like a New Year's hero's path. It's possible for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which would incorporate the summoning plus the dungeon dive. So it might be like dungeon divers plus summon rush, plus maybe something else as well. It's not impossible. It's not something for you to consider. Um, but yeah, like speed 3x is pretty much the only time that's worth farming dragon late game, and it's it's decent enough, though. You know, it's supersonic with Righteous. Not as important protection set. There's a lot of competing speed sets right now, but 3x speed is still decent, of course. Um, 3x retaliation, again, that's okay. It's a pretty decent two-piece set. Again, arguably, you know, with with you know, the flexible sets now coming in, it's not quite as good. Uh, and and when we talked to Plarium, they did talk about, as well, We got, content creators got to chat with them before Christmas, and they did mention that, looking at potentially buffing some of the live arena sets is something that is on the radar, which I think makes sense because the live arena sets, especially compared to the Cursed City stuff, like Merciless is just better than both the live arena sets combined. Like it's ridiculous. So um, yeah, that might happen. Retaliation is pretty, it's okay though. It's, it's decent. And 3x Savage again is is quite good. Merciless completely eclipses Savage. It's, it's brutal, but... Um, Savage is probably still worthwhile. Like you need to build so many nukers for so much stuff. So there you are. So lots of events on. Again, I would expect some sort of 
probably another hero's path event sort of encompassing all of this but i don't know that for sure i guess we'll find out tomorrow it would probably pop up in game as an upcoming event but like a lot of stuff like dungeon divers and hero's path are suspiciously to me coming to an end around about the same time so we will see we also have the end of the blizzard fusion coming up i would recommend that so obviously with me i've got my four bovos we haven't messed this one up Huzzah! We are good to go. I'm leveling up the last three in the campaign. We'll get them ascended onto 50. You do have four days to do this. So just in case champion chase, like getting champions, is, is some part of some event over the weekend, you could wait uh, just to see if there's any events going to pop off and, and fuse him over the weekend. Maybe you'll get a few extra points for an event, but probably you won't. I'd, I'd guess that probably won't. Um... Just make sure you don't miss it. <laughs> That's the main thing. Do not miss it. Make sure you do this on time or you'll be really, really upset. <laughs> Let's be real. So yeah, you've got still plenty of time left to do it, but do make sure not to forget. It's easy to forget over holidays like this. So do be careful. Like if you're in any way skeptical, I'd be like, you know what? Like, yeah, it's a bunch of points for an event. That's nice. I would rather just definitely get it summoned and just give up on potential extra points then be really risky getting extra points, knowing you're going to be super busy, and then miss everything. And we have this Heroes Path event on as well. I did sort of intend to do a video on this, um, and I didn't get around to it. So apologies about that. I, I had planned to do it over Christmas, and I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, I've done a little bit just from champion training so far. Just upgrade. So it's from upgrading champions. Oh, hang on. Upgrading champions, summoning champions, and summoning souls from soul stones. I need to sneeze. Oh. Ah, I paused the video just on time. Crisis averted. So I've done this much from very, very little, really, champion training. This honestly is a really good hero's path, though. So I think either of these sides doesn't matter. But you can see you've got a three-star soul for Blizzard behind a single lock. So to get to this lock, you either do this left or this right-hand side. Then grab a bunch of energy, which is pretty decent. That's pretty darn, darn solid. Then grab a key. Go get a portrait and this three-star soul for Blizzard. It's a little bit of work, but it's really not bad. And I think that's super, super worthwhile, right? Especially, mostly for Cursed City. I'm really looking at Blizzard for the Cursed City. But potentially, there could be some of those stages that you need, like 20 Awakening Stars. There could be some bosses where it's just really limited. And Blizzard could be really good for that. And a three-star soul, that's fantastic. That's a nice little boost that gets you a good chunk of the way there. And it's actually quite easy to do with very little effort. So I'd highly recommend, you still got a day, 17 hours to do it. I'd highly recommend getting that done. I really, really would. Now, after that, from this, it's actually not that far either to the next ones. You have to get 4,000 points for an epic tome, 5,000 points for 100 medium oils. It's actually pretty reasonable. Then 1,000 uh, points for a key. You do have to get another portrait and then 7,500 for the four star. Again, that's pretty decent. Like, that's not bad. Four star gives you a bunch of stats and it's okay. So I think, again, that is something that's certainly worth considering doing, right? Bigger investment. But if you've been pulling some shards or stuff, again, it's pretty good, right? Just for the Cursed City stages, it's a nice boost. I think that's kind of nice. I'm going to pull my Soul Stones. Actually, I'm going to add up how many points I can get with Soul Stones. And we'll see how far we can get, but... I think that's pretty solid. After that, it becomes a lot more difficult. We do have, by the way, some Bovos fragments in here. If you have missed some and you want to get them, you could go those directions either. Unfortunately, like, you know, to get the key, it's quite awkward, right? If you want the key, which you want, um, to go get the Bovos fragments, you've got to go through a lot of stuff. Now, it's not bad. 100 gems. Okay, it's grand. 10 essence, actually pretty good. So... You know, you're not going majorly out of your way. Or over this way, a six-star legendary chaos war. It's pretty good. So you don't have to go too far out of your way. But you have to go a little bit extra. Um, so yeah, on, if we'd known this ahead of time, we obviously would have probably preferred to do this event over the others. But say la vie, right? Could have skipped Summon Rush or something. But we weren't to know. So I played it safe. And yeah, anyway, it's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, after that... To get the key to unlock the final bit here, because remember, we're using this key to unlock the four-star soul. You'd have to come down this right-hand side, which again, it's expensive, but there's good rewards here. The six-star epic chaos or is kind of meh, but not too bad with Merciless, right? Rerolling your Merciless, pretty valuable. 
500 energy, okay. 100 big oils is nice. There's the key. And if you come get another portrait, unlock this. Now it's 40,000. It's very, very expensive to get the five-star soul for Blizzard. Again, it's not awful. Uh, five-star souls are extremely rare, extremely expensive. For me, though, I'm not convinced that that is super worthwhile. It might be nice for Fire Knight Hard, because um, Blizzard is usable there, though I don't know if he's necessary with Newt. It would certainly be nice for the Cursed City, but I don't, like, Blizzard is a pretty mid-tier. He's not, he's not an amazing legendary by any means, shape, or form. He's like an okay option for Fire Knight Hard, and then he's more just Cursed City type stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. It's tough to judge, right? Like, I really regret not getting the Razzlevark soul back in the day. But I certainly don't think Blizzard is as good as Razzlevark. But, uh, yeah, let me go add up my points and maybe let's summon our soul stones. I've got a good few here. So let me add them up and I'll be right back. So we can buy some as well. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've done quick maths here. Hopefully I haven't got it wrong. I believe this is where we're at. So I've got... Um, going back to this, let me see. I have got 74. So I've got, you know, 7,400 points worth of mortals with two immortals, which I've got, and I could potentially buy one, arguably even two more, though I might actually save that and buy Essence instead. Um, I've got 3,000 plus potentially another 1,500, maybe even another 3,000, honestly. And then with Eternals, I technically have zero, but I could buy one, uh, and I'm pretty close to buying a second one, so that could be another 7,500 or 15,000, which is pretty good. Um, that's like a ton of points. So total, I certainly have 10,400, which is not a lot in the bank. With a reasonable potential of another 9,000 and quite possibly 16,500, uh, which is potentially a lot. So let's see how far that would get me. So by default, let's say with the 10,000, we can come in, we go two, 3,000. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to get three. That's 5,000, 10,000. So with the 10,000, we can get the three star. That's definitely worth it. So 10,000 to get a three star. How much is it to get the rest? Um, that becomes a decent chunk more, doesn't it? So we'd have to come down 9,000, 10,000 to get a key, 12,000, use the key, 19,000. Mm, so it's a good chunk extra. We basically need um, almost the entirety of the Eternal, but we're not far off. And then with a bit of um, upgrading champions, I think we can do it. I think it's probably worth it. Let's certainly do the mortals. And then we'll see where we are, right? Let's go with the mortals, though. We've got, uh, we can do four and then feed and go again. Thousand coins. Thank you very much. How many mythicals will we get? Will we get more mythicals than legendaries? That's the question. A Lady Makage soul would be okay if we were to get mythicals. So uh, nothing great here. A three-star skull crime might be good. Renegade, maybe. Isbale is a great champion as well, so that's not too bad. Let's go again. And then let's actually click through this, get, do it a bit faster. Two Legos. One star Bivold, one star Norak. I think I have them both starred up already. The three star Ugo, that is an upgrade. That's actually pretty good. And Creodan, he does have a soul already, but definitely a champion. Absolutely, absolutely worth getting souls on. For Cursed City, no question. If not for Fire Knight Hard as well. Godseeker, Neary, two star. I don't think that's an upgrade. Husk, two star, actually might be. A couple of nice bits in here. Two star Laburga, good for Cursed City. Skaramis, great champion for Hydra. Philia, very, very good as well. Weregren, I'm not a huge fan, but I know YST is, and I think we can do one more pull. Farrakhan is nice as well, of course, and not great. No legendaries. Four-star Vogoth. That could actually be very good for Cursed City on a two-star Crimson Helm. Let's see what we can... Oh, the Bivold Soul is actually new. Okay, yo, that's actually pretty good then. It's only one star, but still, you know, it's a chance to proc uh, your um, Brimstone. It's pretty decent for some of these bosses. Skullcrown will take it. Scram is three-star. That's a nice boost. He could totally be used against, you know, Magma Dragon or something. Ugo, let's do Ugo 1, get her, that's actually pretty big, going from 1 star up to 3, we'll definitely take that, nice, Ugo 1, big boost, um, which one of these is, I guess the one that actually has the actual blessing on him, yeah, it's not a huge deal, let's just put it on my main Vogoth, he goes up to 4 star, that's a big boost, that's totally going to be great for Cursed City, Liberga, the first soul for her, yeah, nice. That's a decent bunch. Decent bunch of upgrades. Firegun Isbel goes up to two star. That's another chunk of attack. Quite nice for her bombs. Weregren, we're not going to use it on him. And then looks like my God Seeker would be for my second God Seeker, which is probably worth holding on to. But uh, yeah, you know what? Philja. I think this is my real Philja. So she's actually got her first star as well. Anything else there? 
doesn't look like so the husk is not an upgrade um he looks like he's being used for a fusion so we won't bother with him so yeah we've got a few bits in there and some stuff we won't use we got some some dupes as well probably just get rid of the norag don't need that um not going to use two norag we can get rid of the one star for him get rid of the one star for her we'll hold on to the fancier versions Looks like I don't need the Farrakhan or the Kriadan. I'll save the Kriadan. We might actually use a second Kriadan. It's it's possible. I think I've got multiple Farrakhans built up already. Then I think I'll just sell all the rares. I don't think I really care about any of the rares. Get rid of those. Get rid of her. Damn, apparently we don't need don't need the Jingle Hunter. It would have shown up. Um, I think we're good. I'll, I'll do a proper clear through later, but that seems fine. Gets us a little bit of the way towards the Eternal. Not a ton, but a little bit. Okay, we got some of these coins. Actually, I always underestimate how many of those medium coins you get for, you know, potentially. Oh, there's a mythical before a legendary. Hey, it's a Lady Makage. Hey, is that new? I wonder. Maruka actually can do some stuff for Sand Devil as well. So I'm personally hoping Sand Devil might get nerfed or something. We'll see. Whisper. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's all happening. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo. Islin, I you guys know I'm not a big fan of Islin. I know a lot of people prefer Islin much more than me. I don't know. For me, he's just he's just not done it. I'm just kind of like, eh. You, my opinion was I'd rather just use physics, right? And I've got two. I pulled a dupe physics like years ago, so I've got a dupe physics. Always sad to pull a dupe physics, even though it's not a bad dupe. And certainly dupe physics potentially for Hydra quite good. Islin though at five star. That opens it up in a big way. Grizor is S tier, though I don't have him. I think I already have a soul for him. I think a three-star soul. Royal Huntsman don't have him, but that's probably new. Whisper is great as well. Wowzers, that is a heck of a pull. Five-star Island's really good. And then we get a big dud. A dud pull to follow up. Let's grab these. You know, let's pull the other four. Let's go. And we got our Makage, two-star, which we'll check if that was new in a second. But that's, that's quite decent as well. Ah, you got some rares. Bunch of duds now, but man, we got five star Islin. <laughs> That's juicy. Jizzo, solid enough champ as well. He's pretty underrated. Could be good for a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see, we got Whisper up to three star. We will take that. Whisper, great champion. Really good. Uh, Mr. Rider Dahi up to two star. He'll take that extra attack. Again, really good epic. Basher, his first awakening. Brilliant epic again. He could be really strong again for some Cursed City. First blessing for Haikatoon. Decent epic, usable. Durandil. Oh, we've got actually two souls for him. Well, we can sell the one star. That's fine. Uh, we won't do wear Gren. Avere the Alchemage. I built him. Ash, Ash, you told me to build him back in the day. I built him. If we actually have two Islands, that's funny. I'll actually pull the dupe. Yo, five star Islin. Islin is now one of my most awakened champions. Probably almost definitely Brimstone, right? He's, he's almost definitely running a Brimstone. I'm not spicy. We've got five star Karam, four star Yelagurna, no less. All right, cool, cool. That's that's pretty juicy though. Okay, we've got lots of these. Let's pull the two immortals that we've got. Let's see where we end up. Get some snow coins, and we'll just double check everything, make sure we're good. I thought that was a thought that was War Maiden. Don't think I think my War Maiden might be six star anyway. We've got an epic. It's a rear guard sergeant. I believe I already have a rear guard. Extremely awakened. Can I actually see it here? Let me see. Let me double. I believe I, I might even have a... I think I have a six-star rearguard sergeant. I think. Oh, maybe she's in the vault. I don't know. I, I think I do. Let's double check, just because I'm curious now. Rear. Yeah, I, I've got a six-star, which is absolutely nuts. She's going to be clutch for some of these Cursed City rooms, I tell you. Right, so we've got 11,000 points in here. Let's go. So we want to get the energy, which is nice. We'll get the... It's going to help me finish off the... Um, we'll get more champ training points. Let's unlock this. And there's our Blizzard soul. Got a thousand points left over. Um, so yeah, we need another chunk to come down here and grab this. This is... It's very doable. I'm going to I'm gonna go for the four star. I think it's worth. I think it's worth. Like, I've got the Eternal Soul Stones. Viable. Um, let's see. We'll have to sell some. Let me, let me see. Can I sell anything here reasonable? First Makage soul. I can sell the two star for her. It's not, I'm not going to plan on having two of those. Let me clear this out, the one-star Grizzor. I'll be right back. Let me pause it. I'll be right back.
Okay, we saw that stuff. I think we're actually in an awkward position where I cannot easily uh, get this. Like, I could come in and sell, like, Elysinia. I don't know. I think I'd rather keep the five star. Like, we could get another Eternal, but I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about that over here. I was tempted as well to get five star Krisk. I'm saving up, though, for five star Seafy, but that was, a, that was a tough, tough call. Let's come in. Let's buy the Eternal. I'm happy to buy an Eternal. That will give us a chunk of points, get us a good bit on our way. Imagine we get six-star Legendary. Well, it's not Legendary. It's an Epic. It is a five-star Alaric the Hooded. Do I have Alaric? Oh, I might not have one. Whoops. Have I, have I sold Alaric the Hooded? We could sell it and re-roll, but... I mean... Oh, yo, I totally don't. I don't have him. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I didn't know that. What does he even do? Alar I, I, I mean to keep a copy of everything. I just clearly made a mistake. One enemy can decrease their turn meter. More for every buff on the target. Eey, okay. Single target. Remove two buffs before attacking. Steals buffs, potentially, if they four or more. Okay. Where am I going to use this? AoE, decrease attack, decrease accuracy. That move is not bad. He is shocking defense. He probably is okay damage. I mean... Would he be useful in Cursed City? Five star is pretty good. He doesn't have multi-hits. Decrease attack and accuracy. I mean, I guess maybe I'll keep him just in case, but he doesn't he doesn't strike me as phenomenally useful to say the least. Ah, oh, does leave us a good bit short. So we can get the epic tome. Then we are a bit short to come across here. And but, but, but. do I want to buy more immortals? Might help us out. Let's buy, we could maybe buy a couple. Let's buy two and we'll save some of that. Oh, if we get three, oh, if we get three. Okay, you know what? Let's buy three and then we can, we can get another eternal and that's going to take us most of the way. And there's pretty good rewards apart from that. I should really sit down. Legendary. Oh, Anarma the Returned. Not a great champion. Hopefully she gets buffed sometime. She's not totally useless. But she's not great mythical. Ooh, it's a four-star Frolny. I don't have a Frolny. Hey, we're getting pretty good, good rarities, though. It's a legendary. Hey, these have been pretty good investments. Hey, three-star Sethalia. You know what? We'll take it. Let's grab the three under there. Sethalia, that went from two-star to three-star. So it's not massive. But hey, it's something. Narma went from zero stars to four star. Again, she might show up for some of these bosses. She's like a single target poisoner. Pretty niche. Pretty niche. Does she have heal reduction, actually? I wonder. And then it's actually my first Frolny soul. I've got, I've got a soul, I think, for almost every mythical champion right now. We are rolling in the mythical champions. Uh, I don't have a single mythical, but by God, we've got souls. It's nice to have the two star Makage, though. That is nice. Holiday pack. Might, might be honest, I might buy this. I might buy this. That's a lot of primals for the video tomorrow. Uh, well, it's five primals. It's not a ton for the video, excuse me, on Friday. I am tempted, I will say. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? I'm, I'm very tempted to buy that as a Christmas thing. Uh, who do I want to look at? Norma. I'm just curious about her. Does she have? No. Decrease attack can heal allies. Uh, poison, poison sensitivity. Yeah, bummer, man. She has pretty long cooldowns. Like, if this was a three turn, she'd be a lot better. That's a three turn. Like, two three turns, and then if her A1 has a much higher chance, you know? They could they could definitely buff this champion, make her a lot better, or potentially give her some AoEs. I think she's pretty decent for Demon Lord. Okay for Drag. She's just not... Yeah, she's she's not great. And she looks so freaking cool. They could really make her better, especially now we've got a four-star for her. You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? Let's go into the Eternal. And click the wrong button. Here we go. We were pretty lucky those immortals. Will it carry over to the eternal? It's an epic, so no, not really. Unless it's a really good epic. Oh, it's a really good epic. Oh, the luck, the luck. Five star Inquisitor Shamail. This is a difficult decision. Because, like, a two star awakening, and I, I use all of these Shamails, the two star awakening is actually pretty good. What I might do. You know what I might actually do is maybe awaken, use this one, because there's a perfect soul on Shamail number two, and then change him into Shamail number one and flip the gear around. That probably makes more sense. It's because I do use both, and like, 
Two star Phantom Touch is quite a nice power boost. It's a nice chunk of attack. Get the Phantom Touch as well. I think I probably will do that. I think we put this on Shamel number two. Shamel number two, you just became Shamel number one. Congratulations on your promotion, sir. Uh, he will happily take that. And that's 16th. That's a lot of points. That will get us a lot of the way here, if not almost the full way. There's the key. Okay. Excellent. We get the picture. Unlock the key. And there we go. We get the four star soul. So we got a four star for Blizzard as well in the bag. Obviously, you know, to actually come down and get this is a massive amount. That's 60,000 points, roughly. Something like that. It's quite a big chunk. That's not, uh, that's not going to be viable for me. So I am probably fairly good here. Uh, with my extra points, what will I do? Possibly just come grab the, the silver essence. That's not bad. Possibly come and grab the 100 oils. But I'm not too keen on, on this stuff. Like, I would honestly, I'd love the speed cliff and the five big essence, but I obviously don't need those. Those fragments are literally worthless. So 4,000 points down the drain. Uh, and, you know, there's mythical tomes and a carol on the ringer. I just, I like the mythical tomes, but apart from that, I don't care too much. And there too. So I think I'm pretty good. I think I'll probably with my extra points. Yeah. If I don't get that many from champ training, we'll get 10 essence, which is fine. If we get loads, we might, I might just grab the essence anyway, and then maybe come get some energy, some oils, or maybe just a portrait or something for fun. But there you go. Very successful. We are ready for Blizzard. Um, I just need to go finish up leveling these dudes and be ready to fuse him up. We're going to be ready. We'll get Blizzard, and he's going to be pretty much four-star almost immediately. Uh, and he's going to be ready to rock that cursed city, which is quite cool. So, yeah, you can't make lots of juicy progress. Got some nice stuff going on, some very nice stuff. But yeah, man, big decisions. Who do I put from four star to five star, right? Sifi, strong option. Krisk, strong option. Wukong, very strong option as well. And then there's a bunch of champs that are really waiting for more medium. So like, man, I would love to get some of the damage dealers up or Yumiko, but it takes a long time. Rasselvark, it takes a long time. Rotus to get these guys up. It does. But yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.